There's only one MLB game that starts after 8 o'clock Eastern tonight on Wednesday, a late night battle between the Mariners and Yankees. I'm going to give you both side and total for free with analysis in this video in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, and we're breaking down your late night West Coast primetime matchup, and then, no pun intended, it's actually on Amazon Prime. And by the way, comment below, do you watch these MLB games on Prime? What about the NFL game Thursday night, Jets-Patriots? And by the way, I do have a solo standalone video for that Thursday night NFL game with a free selection right here on Wager Talk TV. Yet another reason to click subscribe and click the bell for instant alerts. But we're talking baseball here on Wednesday night, yankees mariners Game one last night went to the Yankees, and it was never in doubt. Thought it was a good spot for a Seattle with Wu on the mound, their best overall pitcher. He got rocked, though, and a really bad loss for the Mariners, who are now, um, what is it, five games back in the division, three back of that wild card spot. And this is a kind of a do-or-die series here against the best team in the American League. Bad sign that they lost with Wu and got blown out last night in what I thought was a good spot for Seattle. Therefore, I do not want anything to do with them tonight. I like the Yankees in this spot with Nestor Cortez on the mound. Also like the under 7.5. You know, T-Mobile Park, one of the most pitcher-friendly ballparks, is not the lowest-scoring ballpark in all of baseball. We see lots of 7s, including last night. Um, I think whenever we can get a 7.5, you have to start leaning under. And we do have a few reasons to do it and also fade the Mariners. First of all, I do expect Cortez to have a solid outing in this game. He enters in strong current form. Um, this is a guy that's only pitched seven times since the end of July. 3.6 ERA in those last seven starts. But if you dig a little bit deeper, he's in better current form going back over his last five. In fact, since mid-August over the past month, a 2.1 ERA, 4-1-1 and one, one loss record. He's pitching excellent baseball, really his best baseball of the season. And I do think the lefty will give the Mariners lineup some trouble tonight. Seattle's offense looked like they started to cool off last night uh, with only two runs in that huge loss against the Yankees. And I think it does linger tonight as well. I like to look at righty-lefty splits. You have to be careful looking at righty-lefty starter splits because that's only like half a game. In fact, uh, this season, Mariners are 55-55 and 55 against righties, 22-19 and 19 against left-handed pitchers. But that's starters only. It's only about half a game. What I like to look at is the breakdown against all pitchers right-left and also home road at numbers, especially when you have such a low-scoring park like T-Mobile Park here for the Mariners. And let's put it in perspective. This year at home against uh, all pitchers, uh, the Mariners are batting about 227, averaging about four and a half runs per nine innings. When you look at it against lefties only at home, they're averaging just over four runs, but batting 197. So once again, compared to batting 227 against everyone, just 197 against lefties, uh, that's a tremendously bad number. That's another reason why I think Cortez will have a good outing tonight. And I also like the under in this game as well. So take a look at the Yankees. Best team in the American League as a short road favorite here. Uh, currently minus $1.15 to minus $1.20. And also take a look at under 7.5 minus 05. A very key number. A very high total actually for T-Mobile Park. Yankees and unders would be my preferred side in total in this late night game Wednesday at 9.40 Eastern on Amazon Prime. Hey, comment below. Let me know if you're watching the game tonight. Do you watch the NFL, the MLB games on Prime? And more importantly, what other MLB games do you like tonight? What other sides and totals? Throw in some player props. I read all the comments and I reply back here on Wager Talk TV. Thumbs up, like if you like these free videos every day and I'll keep them coming. Tons of college and pro football free solo videos are scheduled for later this week. Also, daily free baseball games like this. My college football top 25 video. There is a top 25 matchup on Friday, so that'll be up on Thursday night for you. Be sure to Click the bell for an instant alert when that goes live, along with my NFL Fade the Public video this weekend for week three. Fade the Public off to a pretty good start so far after the first couple weeks. You know, last night was $5 Tuesday, and I mentioned how I didn't want you to get the $5 best bet. I wanted you to get a direct subscription. I know we were on a 29-7 and hot streak in baseball entering last night. I know hundreds of you didn't listen. You bought the single play only, and it was an extra inning loss. In fact, the game played out like I thought. Uh, Reagans for Kansas City had an excellent start. Uh, Mize for Detroit barely lasted over four innings, but it went extra innings, and that always gets random, and we missed out. So we're now on a 29-8 and eight run. The point is, if you bought just the game last night, you're 0-1. If you played all other games over the past month, you went 29-7. and seven. You're still 29-8, and eight, and I do have a strong best bet tonight on Wednesday. Look, the game has an edge. It's a mathematical edge. I expect to go to 30-8 and eight after tonight. But I really recommend getting a direct subscription. The rest of the baseball season is just over like a hundred and some dollars with an instant discount, fifty dollar discount with promo code MLB50. So once again, if you're going to play the baseball game, it's a no-brainer to get the next month and a half of baseball through the World Series and get a fifty dollar discount with MLB50. 
But if you're not on board for football already, you really should consider all sports, all access because basketball starts in just a month as well. We have 30 day, 90 day and one year packages. If you do the one year, that promo code is still available to get an instant $800 discount. SM365 gets you over $800 off instantly for the one year Big Daddy special, which gets every play every day for every sport. 365 straight days and nights works out to just over $3 a day, just over a dollar a play. That's how you make money long term. Because yes, baseball is incredibly hot. 29 and 8, number one overall this year in baseball at Wager Talk. But I'm also number one the last two years combined in ATS profit in college and pro football at Wager Talk. And also number one last year in the NBA and all-time in the NBA. Number one in college hoops a couple years before that. So once again, all sports, all access makes you the most money. That SM365 gets it done just over a dollar a play. If you want just the rest of football, we do have an instant $100 discount on the rest of the football season. That promo code is FBALL100. It's on my page as well. Or if you have football already and want to add the rest of baseball, Yes, I have a strong best bet tonight, but I highly recommend the rest of the season special. Just over $100 of that promo code F, um, MLB 50. MLB 50. Look, I'm confusing myself with all the promos and specials. You don't have to memorize them. Just go to my homepage. You'll see them right on the front there. You'll see the daily best bet. You'll see a bonus free play every day. I put a free play up every day in either baseball or football, and you'll also see the promo code. So check it out right now. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, and get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. You can follow me on X and Instagram at Steve Merrill, 2Rs1L. You know the deal, 2Rs1L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great baseball and football preview videos coming up next.